this is Richard Cespedes, and uh, I'm here with an idea about uh, a little bit about my theories of quantum mechanics, and I'm and I'm and I'm not too sure if this idea has already been claimed or has already been thought of or anything like that. But my idea for quantum mechanics and about the um, matter in the universe and matter and materials that exist in our in our everyday lives like metals and and uh, plastics and glass and even liquids uh, rubbers and and cars and vehicles and, and 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 all the materials that we interact with every day um i think that all material all matter is one one um it comes from one source and and that all matter is all the same and that the only thing that separates a piece of glass from like water or water from um, carpet floor or uh, wood from metal the only reason why those materials are so um, distinctively different from each other is not because um, the the material that they're made of is different, but that at the quantum level, um, what binds them, the energy levels that bind them, makes uh, distinctions. The specific energy levels that binds the molecules together is what creates that that uh, material, is what manifests that material to reality is what gives that material its life and its texture and its um, resilience and its distinction in reality but that all materials and all matter is all one form of matter but when you separate them and you give them separate energy levels you're able to change their very characteristic uh, their very um, nature of what they originally were from the beginning like you could change like for instance you could uh, you know um, like a piece of glass is different from a piece of wood because the energy levels that binds the molecules together at the quantum level gives them their signature and their look and their distinction in the reality that we live in but if the energy levels were the if the if the energy if the separate energy levels from the piece of wood and glass were to be um, um, sequenced and um, and the same were to be um, lined up and and were to be equal both the the set the piece of glass and the piece of wood would become a form of matter that would be basically the same like it would be it it both both the pieces of 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 um of distinct pieces of of material when their wavelengths and energy levels become uh synced as equal they'll become one form of matter that will be equal to each other you know like i don't know what it would transform into i don't know what it would manifest into but the energy levels when changed will allow the materials to become another form of matter you know, like almost I would say, um, it's kind of crazy to talk, but you know, like it's like changing water into wine almost. Like by changing the molecular, um, the, not only, you know, by the only way to change the molecular level is to change the quantum level. When you change the quantum energy levels that bind the molecular, the the molecules together, then in turn it creates a chain reaction that changes the molecules that then changes the very compound of the material and matter itself. So what I say is that every uh, is that uh, in order to change water into wine, you would have to change the energy levels of the water, the quantum quantum energy levels. Almost I would say near the quantum foam level level of space time. Um, you would have to change the energy levels, and when you change the energy levels, it creates a chain reaction, changing all the molecules that are connected and inter uh, interwoven in the energy levels that bind the molecules together that will then change water into wine you know 
and you could also probably change a piece of fabric you know into glass or something like that by changing the energy levels into but it's just a it's just an idea that I've had but I think that the water entwined is probably mo much more of a better example because it's more uh pe 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 people have heard about it and recognize it and much more realistic I think but uh um but but also to end it I think that all materials it's like getting a default piece of marble you know it's like getting a piece of marble and uh, like getting marbles and like they're all clear and then you kind of smother them in this glue and you put them and you bind them together with a piece of glue and then they become a different shape because you have one thing one piece of marble that has multiple ones it becomes one big glob of something different it tra it transforms into something different you know and i think that like for example um all materials this is just my theory all materials are actually all built of the same material they're all built up the same material they're all built up the same thing the only thing that makes them distinctive is the quantum levels that bind the materials the quantum level like let's say you had a sheet of two sheets of the same material two sheets of the same exact molecular uh materials they look the same i don't know how um i can't really describe how it would be like maybe like a piece of paper or something like that but for right now just kind of use your imagination you have something that's two sheets of the same material that came from space not man-made and the only thing that would make it different or to transform the material like to mutate the material or to change the material you have to go to the quantum level you change the wavelengths you change the wave energies whatever of the of the object itself the and the the um the electrons or whatever i'm not too sure um you change it up a little bit and then the compound and the material itself then transforms into something different because you're coming because you're changing it from the very smallest level when you change something from the very smallest level you're able to manipulate it into a much more finer much more detailed way when you want to change something you have a small uh, when you want to uh, carve wood you use very small detailed things to make it very small and smooth and detailed when you want to change um, um, some a um, material, a uh, material's molecular chain, uh, um, a level. You go to the most smallest wavelengths that control it, and then you're able to make drastic changes to that material. When you go to the smallest level and you come from the bottom up, then you're able to change. Uh, just like I said, that the molecules from the water are able to be changed because. You're not starting from the molecules. You're starting more further below and and much more further down the line to the simpler level, the most uh um square, the most root level, which is the quantum wavelengths, the quantum levels, and you're changing it from the bottom up to allow the material to change. You know, you're starting from the root and you're coming from the root up from the smallest level, and it progresses to the molecule level which is larger and then within that changing the energy levels then affect the molecules that then affect the whole entire mass itself into something different changes the color changes the changes the characteristics and, and everything else that's how you're able to change things and that all material and mass and and uh and matter is all the same material but that they're all brothers and sisters they're all cousins of each other but 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 not even cousins they're like uh brothers and sisters like twin sisters a uh, twin uh twin siblings uh, uh, a twin brother and a twin sister they they they're different but they're you know they're like like twins but the only thing that makes them different is that you put you 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 uh put one child in different clothing and the other one in another type of clothing you know but this time it's the molecular level that changes it but that all matter is exactly the same. But the only thing that makes water different from glass. Water and glass both have the same compounds and same everything. But the only thing that makes them different 
are the energy levels that bind them, that changes the molecular levels into something, into a different animal. You know, it's like taking beads, like I said, taking beads and marbles and changing the molecular levels of the marbles. It changes the animal into something completely different, whether it's something slimy or gushy or something more harder and stronger. But, but, but everything is the same, but the only thing that makes it different is the quantum energy levels that bind the molecules together and the particles together. That's what makes it distinctively different. But that all matter is exactly the same, but the only thing that makes it different is the quantum levels that bind that matter together, that bind the, poly the particles together. And that's my theory for, for how uh, matter and materials are different, but they're not so different. And the only thing that makes them different is the energy signature levels that bind them in our reality, make them intact in our reality. This is Richard Cespedes talking about how energy levels and quantum levels give the signature changes of matter in our reality. Thank you very much.